one of the things that we like to do in my family as we have our morning breakfast and coffee is we like to look out the window at this bird feeder that's behind us, behind me. Each day the birds come and go and, and feed and, and you can watch the cardinals come. And one of the neat things about the cardinals is that you can watch the, the male cardinals feed the female cardinals. It's, it's amazing the, the economy of creation, the way that God has, has arranged things in such a way that even the birds of the air are, are fed uh, without our help or with our help. Um, with our help, we just get to enjoy watching that. It reminds me of a story. In a, in a previous church, there was a, a young lady who was one of my favorites. She was always so positive and uplifting and encouraging to everybody around her, myself included. And one day we got the devastating news that she had cancer and it was bad and hospice was called in and she was able to stay at home and one of the things that her family did for her she loved to watch the birds too and they moved the bird feeder to a window just outside of her room so that she could lay in bed and she could watch the birds come and go and we talked about it on several visits that i made to her and how encouraging it was that even though she was in pain and she was sick and she was struggling and probably was gonna die, and in fact, she did die. The reminder that God was with her through the birds was an ever-present gift, a blessing to her with each day. Our scripture lesson today from Matthew is a tough one. Uh, we hear the words of Jesus, and those words seem to be harsh. Father will be divided from son and daughter from mother and those who want to find their life will have to lose their life, and on and on. And there are other things that are very difficult for us to hear. I always smile a little bit when I hear people say that, that Christianity is, is some, kind of, uh, some kind of way to, to view the world as a pie in the sky, uh, an idealistic way to look at the world. Because from my view, especially with scripture passages like today, it's anything but. These are harsh words from Jesus. But one of the things that I love about the gospel is I love the reality of them. That Jesus doesn't sugarcoat the world in which we live. That if we want to follow Jesus, if we want to be a disciple who follows our master, then we ought to expect to endure the same things that the master had to endure. We might have to endure suffering and frustration and grief and pain and sickness and even death. That's a reality of the world in which we live. But the good news of this passage is that interwoven through this, these harsh words, these hard words, are words of encouragement, are words about the sparrows. If God cares even for the sparrows, then how much more does God care for you? And so even though we read these words that are difficult to read, and even if we live through times that are difficult to live through, we can trust that in God's economy, God is still with us. There isn't much more I can say about this passage of scripture this week, other than to remind you as you look around, some have noticed that 2020 has been one of the most difficult years that many of us can remember, from the tornadoes that hit Nashville to COVID-19, to the economy falling out, and all of the changes that we're all living through, that it's become difficult to, to keep our heads up, to be encouraged through the days in which we're living. But maybe that's the gift of this scripture today. Even as we hear the warnings that Jesus gives us about what is to come and what would happen for those who wish to be faithful to the gospel, we can also remember the words of Jesus to fear not, for God is with you. Thanks be to God. Amen.